go. I know your type. You're the type that flies. And everything is good inside your world. guys it is me Amira I wanted to get on here and talk to you guys about what I said I was going to talk to you guys about I'm keeping my promise number one I am making two videos a day one for Instagram and one for YouTube sharing my spiritual gifts Number two, I am no longer ashamed and embarrassed about my spiritual gifts. However, I'm still shy about them, but I'm not ashamed anymore. So I'm going to be sharing and I'm going to start out by giving messages. And hopefully it evolves into readings, contacting your loved ones for you that has passed away. And also helping you open up your spiritual gifts and speaking to people that are connected to their higher being and their inner being and helping you connect to those as well <clears throat> so that's what I'm doing I've already made my first video on YouTube and you can find that at Amira the songstress at YouTube you spell that a m e e r a h the t h e songstress s o n g s t r e s s so this is me keeping my promise so um, I said I'll do videos and sometimes I'll go live and I'll allow people to come on and chime in and if they want to contact anyone, um, I'll help out. So anyone that has passed away or even anyone that they want to speak to in the spirit that is awake. So that's where I'm at and that's what I'm doing. So uh, in keeping my promise, I wanted to deliver this message. If you, again, if you go over to YouTube and check it out, I've uh, already put a message on there from Spirit where I'm speaking directly from Spirit and I'm allowing Spirit to speak through me. It's a little weird, it's a little different because it's just me um, articulating what I'm receiving in regards to vibrations and vibes from Spirit. And I'm, tr I'm, I'm trying to articulate them, articulate the words so that you can understand them. And it's, a, it's emotional for me. So sometimes it seems as if I'm going to cry and sometimes it actually feels like I have to throw up. And so it's very heavy, you know, being that I'm an empath as well, the emotions gets very, very heavy and very high and they're, they're, they're all over me. And it's, you know, it's just kind of hard sometimes. So it's a very emotional thing that you see me going through, but I put it out there on display so you can check it out. So I am today I'm going to be giving a message and I want to um, channel Michael Jackson for this message. I've received this message previously so it's not like I'm going to, it's not like I'm going to be saying anything that I haven't heard him say before. Um, I haven't, it's not as if I'm just now receiving this energy. This is some energy that I've already uh, received from Michael Jackson and these are things I'm going to be talking about that he has talked to me about. So the first thing I want to talk to you about when it comes to Michael Jackson is that he, his message has always been heal, heal the world and peace and love and, and life and, and um, he want and liberty. He wants um, you to understand that we are all one. He wants us all to come together and anything that brings us together he is with. Um, so that leads me to the 
conversation about him being a pedophile or about him messing with little children in a very negative way um, or hurting little children and things of that nature. Um, how does he feel about that? How does he feel about his legacy and all those things? Well, first of all, there's no egos over there in the, um, you know, in the pure, in pure positive energy. Um, he is back with God, um, perfect and absolutely perfect. So there's no reason for him to have an ego or any bad or harsh or negative feelings towards anything. I mean, it's all love where he is. So he's not judging anything that's going on first and foremost. Um, but I have been saying this thing, um, this phrase called thy will be done. And, um, you know, obviously I received, I got that from the Lord's prayer, the Lord's prayer. And, um, but that, that thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven has a huge meaning for me. And I love quoting that because every time someone, um, passes away and then you watch their purpose, unfold regardless to their physical presence here i think it's absolutely amazing and lovely and i think that is a testament to thy will be done and let me explain anytime you inject your will into this universe and knowing that we all have free will we all have a goal we all have things that we want to accomplish in this life and so uh we're going to use your goals as your will you know for the sake of this conversation so if you inject your will into this universe if you uh, pursue a certain goal you go down a pathway trying to pursue a certain goal uh, you're putting energy into that goal you're putting energy therefore you're putting energy into the universe you're giving you're giving off this vibe vibration to the universe and the universe picks up on that vibe that vibration that you're putting out which is that energy and they and and that's you injecting your vibe your vibration your energy your will into the universe and then the universe takes it and brings it back around full circle to you and so injecting your will into the universe is does nothing but allow it to come back to you so when someone passes away but then they but their will and is still being fulfilled i think that's absolutely perfect and it's absolutely great so how does that relate to michael jackson well his goal in life was to bring us together and to save the children and to help the children and to love on the children so if he, people have to come up against him now that he's gone and say hey he hurt the children and say that he did things that was wrong and negative to the children but it makes but it allows them to come together to protect the children then isn't that his will being done if you subscribe to the fact that when you die you return to heaven and you are with god then you understand how thy will is the same will as god's will because if God gave us free will and then we decided to do with our will what we will and we injected our will into this universe and then the universe takes that energy and that will and brings it back around and spreads it around into the universe and then we, pa and then we transition to be with God again and therefore um, we are with God and then we're connected to God again. That means we become one with God again. And we are perfect and absolute in God's will. Then how is it different? How is, the, how is our will and God's will different? <clears throat> God's will is what our will is for ourselves because he gave us free will so that we can have will. So now his will is done over and over and over again. So as far as Michael Jackson is concerned, if you're out here fighting um, for the children with the heightened awareness because someone told you that Michael Jackson hurt the children, now you're paying more attention to the children. Now you're advocating for the children. Now you're gonna make sure that children are not in abusive relationships now you're going to make sure that children are uh, not being abused sexually or 
uh, physically and mentally. Now you're going to be extra sensitive about when the children do spend time with certain people, whether it's family members or friends or even strangers. You're going to be more height. Your awareness is going to be more heightened for that. So that means that you're going to automatically protect the children more than maybe you would normally think to do because of because before maybe you wasn't aware that maybe someone like Michael Jackson could have did something to hurt children. So now that the thought is that someone like Michael Jackson might be hurting children, now you're going to be more aware and you're not going to be so eager to send your children off to strangers just because they have because they're famous. So now you're going to gravitate to the children and make sure that the children are okay. So if that's the goal and if that's what Michael Jackson's goal was in the first place, then his goal has been met. Whether you have to use his name in a negative or derogatory way or not, whether you have to blame things on him or not, whether you have to lie on his name or not, if the goal is to protect the children, then that will be done. Now, on the other hand, those people that are standing up for Michael Jackson and saying, no, he did not do this. And those, you know, they're, they're, they're coming together. Those of you that are coming together in Michael Jackson's name to protect him and say, hey, this didn't happen. It's still the same goal being met because you're still going to advocate for the children. You're still going to continue to advocate for what Michael Jackson was all about, which was loving the children, saving the children, healing the children and being a special refuge for the children. So if you want to carry on Michael Jackson's name and legacy in a very proper way, then you're going to continue to do the things that Michael Jackson was doing, and that was advocating for the children. And the biggest thing that Michael Jackson wanted us to do was come together as one and love each other. And if you can come together in his name, that's great. You know, it, it doesn't matter. If his name is being used to save the children, if his name is being used to come together, if his name has been being used for us to be together as one, if his name is being used for us to love one another, then thy will be done. So that's what, that's the message that I'm, re that I'm receiving. That's what I want to give to you all today. Um, if you have any questions, you can definitely leave them in the comments um, you can definitely DM me because this is for Instagram so you can definitely get in my DM and DM me and uh, we can talk about it but again that's the message for today talk to you soon